Hey there, I'm Monica Mangan, designer and host of The Weekender. We're breaking down past projects from Weekender makeovers and deep diving a bit more to give you all the inspiration and know-how to try these in your own home. Today we're talking DIY paneled headboards. You know when you're on vacation and the hotel room feels super stylish and luxurious and allows you to finally relax? That's what we were going for in Bessa Marcellus' bedroom. And one of the easiest and budget-friendly ways to achieve that was with a DIY paneled wall-length headboard. Lowe's.com has a ton of really great color and style options for upholstered headboards. They have tufted, velvet, studded, basically any style you could want, they've got it. For this bedroom, we went with a simple gray upholstered headboard with horizontal lines. After getting the measurements of the room, we did a bit of math and determined that we could fit two rows of three headboards if we ordered full-size headboards. When you're determining your size, remember to look at the headboard sizes, even twins, because when combined, it might add up perfectly to what you need. We laid all six headboards on the floor with the front side facing down, attached them together by drilling metal screws into the existing frames of the headboards, and then we built a simple wood frame around the edge, connecting all six headboards together and giving it a seamless look. Your installation process will vary depending on exactly what headboard you choose, but we used 1x2 pine wood to attach a simple ledger board to the wall. Our headboard then rested on that as an anchor and we secured from the top down using additional screws. Depending on the size of your headboard, you may need some extra hands to help with installation. Ours was huge. Hey, there we go. <laughs> Good work. Nice job. Nice. That's what we're talking about. For the entire wall, we used six headboards, which were under $100 each. With our mounting materials, the entire thing came in at just about $600. Having a custom wall-length headboard made for you would normally cost in the thousands. Gotta love a DIY that knocks off a high-end look for a fraction of the cost. If you have any questions about this project, drop a comment below. And if you haven't seen the full episode, be sure to check it out. Before you go, hit that subscribe button. You don't want to miss a single thing on the Lowe's YouTube channel. Thanks, guys.